because I have guts. I'm almost pretty sure. Kind of had them spilled on the street for me. Almost. started wailing on that one sitting there I think he has at least one kid right there with him what do you think would happen I don't think the same consequences as uh, anybody's gotten for a uh, beating on me when I tripped or throwing rocks at me, or breaking my leg, or any of that. You know, you get this image of, like, cowards Stereotypically, you know, they're like hiding, they're like cowering, they're, uh, they're, uh, know, hiding under the, the bed, right, hiding under the bed, cowards. Nah, man, they're out here. They're not alone, man. There isn't one. There's a bunch of them. They're not quiet. They're louder than me. They're not tame and docile, man. They'll fucking kill you. They'll shoot you and make up a story for it. I'll stab you in the heart and then try to get you to say that it wasn't their fault. That's a reference to this whole thing here. They stabbed me in the heart. Back in San Diego. Are we doing a recap episode? Is that what we're doing? Huh? Uh -huh. Should have worn longer sleeves. And Bernie's got the, the got the right idea there. He's in for a long haul. Look, he's, he's got long sleeves, long pant legs. The shit they're inculcating in their fucking little shits, man. Reinforcing the false values. I'm fucking cold. I should probably be stocking up on fat for the winter, right? I haven't really gained too much weight since I've been over here, um, like I was when I was over there, towards the end there. Um, I was living in Alcohol Boulevard, and I picked up some weight because, I mean, I was eating like one time a fucking day, so I had to try to get all my calories. Uh, heavy starches. But I feel healthy, I mean, you know, given the shit they throw at me, even physically. I, uh, I now remember that the cat that they dumped there was, well, I found it on November 2nd. I was remembering that a few a week or two ago. They basically killed the cat around this time of year because it's black and because it was becoming friendly with me. It came up right here, um, would, uh, would hang out with me while they fed it.
¡No tienes miedo! ¡Ya sacaron los dientes! ¡Yo también tengo! ¿No tienes miedo que les vaya a hacer algo? Ya sacaron los dientes, yo también tengo. Ah, no pensaban que iba a ser la consecuencia, ¿verdad? Los resultados. ¿Te nombré? ¿Lo nombré a usted por nombre? Si quiere acercarse me ve mejor. Cuídese. Siempre debe tener uno en mente que si trata de matar a alguien, trata de lastimar a alguien, se arriesga a que se lo regresen. Según dicen, el que nada debe, nada teme. Black windbreaker in the red shirt stopped a few times. I'm tired of this shit, man. It's it's been over a decade of this fucking shit, man. <sighs> Fuck. Can't go anywhere they don't do this shit. Do have guts though. More than that. Either. So I risk sounding like an idiot, making a, a bit of a fool of myself if you don't have the right perspective, the full context of the situation. But I also have some brains. And that's why I haven't thrown myself into uh, more than I can handle. Believe it or not, all these fucking people are doing this shit so willingly, so openly. It's a little bit of a de-escalation from over there. I mean, I haven't gotten stabbed in the heart since I've been here, right? That shit wasn't even a few years developed, and I already got stabbed in the heart at that point. And then their cover-up. Their cover-up is some fucking bullshit, too. So, um, I don't know if you can tell here on the video, that obviously the human ear doesn't have the same capacity for hearing, the same range and sensibility of a microphone, but um, this noise, this background ambience, it's not their typical, they're on a round the clock harassment bullshit thing. Um, They've made it clear they want me to leave. They want me to leave. But they don't want me to go anywhere. Man, I'll take a fucking boat. I'll go out in the international waters, man. Like, the, the fuck? Just fuck off. Like, I don't think you want me to have anything that makes you feel inferior. Well, I like girls, so does that mean that I like underage girls? Is that what? Can you name any that I've touched? No? Have I, um, in other ways demonstrated some sort of, uh, impropriety? 
as they say. No? So what are you really basing it off of? Mm -hmm. Time, place, source, evidence. Can you elaborate? All you need to hear is anarchist, communist. Something, and you just free pass, carte blanche. You can do anything you want, anytime. I don't know, man. I don't think that's how it works. Being mature, responsible, dignified human beings. I think that's. I think that's a little uncivilized. I think that's a little immature. I think that's a little irresponsible. I think that's a little capricious. Well, I know they use the kids as human shields. Because, I mean, how fitting, right? How fucking fitting. How convenient would it be, right? That um, if they are right, well, there you go. And if they're not, who would hurt Jai? Who would? Well, I don't know, man. I'm Bronnie down the street. Uh, took out a baseball bat to wail on me once. Uh, I'm not really a baseball. I just tripped. Maybe maybe I looked like a baseball, but I don't think he thought I was a baseball. Did the cops lock him up? Did the cops break his leg? The neighbors throw rocks at him? Anybody uh, harass him in his own home? Anybody break down his front door, his gate? Anybody hold a gun to his head? to like the middle of fucking nowhere. Town's like fucking 3,000 fucking people and they already sent word over there. I mean, originally in 2013, I intended to go over there, right? That's what I was going for. Uh, to farm, to be there, to live there and put some roots on some agriculture down, right? I was prevented, I was prevented, um, really, really weird, surreal sort of events happening around that time to prevent me from uh, fixing my paperwork to get my uh, citizenship. I got my citizenship, but it wasn't until after that. I think maybe 2012, 2013, I tried to come over here and they slowed me down yet again. Um, I was actually in his, I was in this house right here. This is where I, I kind of lived when I was a kid. Didn't really grow up here. It was like maybe two, three years, but then we'd come over like every weekend almost. So this is, this is my house. That's my like, plant of that tree when I was a kid. You know? And, um, and then I got left here and um, I mean I had the money to go right but I was counting on my family to take me to, to the train to the bus station so that I could buy my tickets to go south to Comidas nah man I, I fell asleep there waiting for them they never showed up, and then when they showed up, they were like, it's too late. And then, um, 
And I was like, well, fine, we'll go to Maryland. Like, no, we can't leave it here. I was like, why? Like, fuck. I'm like, no, 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 we need to go back right now. And at the time, there was, there was some pending legal shit, right? Because this all started. They needed, they needed a foot in the door. It's a fucking thing. Uh, case is too weak for them to put that shit on me right there. Um, with what they had. Which was... I mean, you might as well make it all up. So they needed some previous, some prior legal shit. None of it stuck, and I was doing everything, you know, by the book, supposedly. You know, not that they have any fucking real... Like, unless you have money. Unless you have money. Unless you have a really good lawyer. Unless you can embarrass the judge. Unless you can embarrass the judge. Uh, or several judges. Um, but yeah, so... What I did was, you know, by the book, I got permission from the court. I was like, I'm going to take a leave. I'm going to stop these payments, and I'm going to take a leave, and I'm going to go south for a year, and I'll be back. The judge actually said he gave me permission. He gave me permission, and he said, you can go. Well, it didn't fucking matter, because at that point, I come here, and then I can't leave. I can't go south. They won't take me to the bus station. They all but pull their hair out of their heads with their bare hands, trying to make up excuses for why I can't go. So I'm like, all right, fine. Jesus Christ, what a fucking mess. I'll try it again later. I'll try it again later, right? And so, uh, so I go back. I go back, and at that point. I had moved out. I was I was back to living with my parents actually. I was back to living with my parents and so um so I go back with them. And then I'm like, oh, can I can I get help to go now? Can I get can I leave you? No. Nope. So time goes on and it's pretty obvious they don't want me to go. So I wonder what was taking place here since 2013 that I couldn't come here until 2017. I wonder what happened here. And I wonder what happened in this in Nayarit. That I couldn't be there, not in 2013, for a year, and then back again. But had to wait until 2019 after they scratched up my knee right there and locked me up in that one false rehab bullshit. Jesus Christ, I'm shaking like I'm on some fucking drugs here with how cold it feels. My blood sugar's low, actually. Um, no breakfast. Um, it's really late. I kind of forget to eat sometimes. It's not bad, it's not a bad thing. It's just, you know, woke up late, around like 10 in the morning, and I haven't eaten, so. But yeah, all these little bullshit things, like any job that I get, they tie up, any means of transportation, they, like, what is so threatening to them that I don't look bad? That I don't prove to be bad? At life, at work, at school. Oh yeah, the ways they fucked up my... Oh my god, it's embarrassing. How, how do they look at themselves? Like, like I, I did well in school and then they just had to pull that shit, like... I, I landed jobs. I was working. I was earning my own money. And they have to pull shit where they feel like they've got me pinned. And they feel self assured and overconfident. And they do this shit like, like what? It's gonna like break my mind? Man, not only do I have more brains than a hell of a lot of them, even put together. 
mind, you know, whatever you call mind, spirit, you know, soul. Like, come on, man, it's not. Don't you think you would have broken me by now? What are you gonna do? Stab me in the heart again? This is so dramatic. Hey, don't just fuck off. Why don't you you guys work on yourselves? Why don't you work on yourselves, man? Jesus fucking Christ. What petty fucking dog shit, man. Huh, I'm sorry. I wouldn't be surprised if, when I turn my back, figuratively, literally, they try some shit. I mean, sorry for the shaky camera, but come on. Oh wait, no, yeah, I can think of some miners, some attractive fucking miners. Should I go on record say their names here? <laughs> on social media, I've come across some profiles where it's like, well, I'm girls not over at Um, yeah, list them off, list them off, tell them, uh, tell them. Tell them, ask them, ask them what's up. Fucking pieces of shit, man. Could have planted a whole fucking forest here, man. Edible fucking plants, trees, every fucking layer. Fucking micro remediated the fucking soil so we're not eating fucking poisons and the fucking food. Instead? Stream of dog shit they wash down the fucking. Which is, I mean, is better than, like, I don't know what's better and worse, right? A while ago. Look, California license plates. The, um, the manhole cover over there, they had a. Shit. Literal shit. The, the sewage was backed up. The sewage was backed up. Human shit was pouring out on the street, man. Those hard-working people, good, responsible adults, always got better things to do. I don't think you guys' priorities are really right. And I think maybe you should stop reproducing and circle jerking. And tell me anything. I've, I've literally, I've literally walked across there, um, a literal dog turd, like, they don't even, they don't even put that in the trash can, like, like, the least they could do is put it in the trash can, right, ideally they'd be burying it in a park or something, right, burying it, not leaving it on top, they don't even let the fucking plants grow, it's fucking dust, salt dust, Man, blame me for everything. Blame me. Oh, it's my fault. Everything is my. Everything in the world, everything wrong in the world is my fault. You've done nothing wrong. But hypothetically, if you could do anything better, if you could do anything better, hypothetically. You think I've ever pointed anything out? You think I've ever been ahead of you at it? Cat's got the right idea though. Sitting in the sun there. Alright. I'm gonna go have my late ass fucking four o'clock in the evening fucking breakfast. And they're not gonna let me into it. They won't. They won't.